real history of Christianity in Africa. A church on earth in Ethiopia rewrites the history of Christianity in Africa and the Aksumite Empire in particular. With these finds, archaeologists believe they can more closely than when the religion spread to the Aksumite Empire. Hello everybody and welcome to the Constable. Please subscribe now to get the latest news on archaeology, ancient history, civilizations and world mythology. Without wasting further time, let's get started. In the dusty highlands of northern Ethiopia, a team of archaeologists recently uncovered the oldest known Christian church in sub-Saharan Africa. A find that sheds new light on one of the world's most enigmatic old kingdoms and its surprisingly early conversion to Christianity. An international assemblage of scientists discovered the church 30 miles northeast of Aksum, the capital of the Aksumite kingdom, a trading empire that emerged in the first century AD and would go on to dominate much of eastern Africa and western Arabia. Through radiocarbon dating of artifacts uncovered at the church, the researchers concluded that the structure was built in the 4th century AD, about the same time when Roman Emperor Constantine I legalized Christianity in 313 CE and then converted on his deathbed in 337 CE. The team detailed their findings in a paper published in antiquity. The discovery of the church and its contents confirm Ethiopian tradition that Christianity arrived at an early date in an area nearly 3,000 miles from Rome. The find suggests that the new religion spread quickly through long-distance trading networks that linked the Mediterranean via the Red Sea with Africa and South Asia, shedding fresh light on a significant era about which historians know little. The empire of Aksum was one of the world's most influential ancient civilizations, but it remains one of the least widely known, says Michael Harwa of John Hopkins University, the archaeologist leading the team. Helena Woodikiros, an archaeologist at St. Louis Washington University, who was part of the team, adds that Aksum served as a nexus point linking the Roman Empire and later the Byzantine Empire with distant lands to the south. The trade by camel, donkey and boats channel silver, olive oil and wine from the Mediterranean to cities along the Indian Ocean, which in turn brought back exported iron, glass, beets and fruits. The kingdom began its decline in the 8th and 9th centuries, eventually contracting to control only the Ethiopian islands. Yet, it remained definitely Christian even as Islam spread across the region. At first, relations between the two religions were largely peaceful but grew more fraught over time. In the 16th century, the kingdom came under attack from Somali and then Ottoman armies, but ultimately retained control of its strategic islands. Today, nearly half of Ethiopians are members of the Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo Church. For early Christians, the risk of persecution from the Romans sometimes ran high, forcing them to practice their belief in private posing a challenge for those scholars who study this area. Christianity had reached Egypt by the 3rd century AD, but it was not until Constantine's legalization of Christian observance that the church pandered widely across Europe and the Near East. With news of the Aksumite excavation, researchers can now feel more confident in dating the arrival of Christianity to Ethiopia to the same time frame. According to Aaron Bopf, a professor of Semitic and Egyptian languages at Catholic University in Washington, D.C., who was not involved with the excavation, 
This find is the earliest physical evidence for a church in Ethiopia, as well as all of sub-Saharan Africa. Harawa's teams conducted their work between 2011 and 2016 at an ancient settlement called Beta Semati, which means house of audience in the local Tigrinyan language. The location, close to the modern day border with Eritrea and 70 miles to the southwest of the Red Sea, appealed to the archaeologists in part because it was also home to temples built in the Southern Arabian style dating back many centuries before the rise of Axum, a clear sign of ancient ties to the Arabian Peninsula. The temples reflect the influence of Sabaeans who dominated the lucrative incense trade and whose power reached across the sea in that era. The excavator's biggest discovery was a massive building 60 feet long and 40 feet wide resembling the ancient Roman style of a basilica. Developed by the Romans for administrative purposes, the basilica was adopted by Christians at the time of Constantine for their places of worship. Within and near the Aksumite ruins, the archaeologists also found a diverse array of goods from a delicate gold carnelian ring with the image of a bull's head to nearly 50 cattle figurines clearly evidence of pre-Christian beliefs. They also uncovered a stone pendant carved with a cross and incised with an ancient Ethiopic word venerable as well as incense burners. Near the eastern basilica wall, the team came across an inscription asking for Christ to be favorable to us. In the research paper, Harua said, this unusual collection of artifacts suggests a mixing of pagan and early Christian traditions. According to Ethiopian tradition, Christianity first came to Aksum Empire in the 4th century AD when a Greek-speaking missionary named Frimentius converted King Ezana. But, however, doubt the historical reliability of this account, and scholars have disagreed over when and how the new religion reached distant Ethiopia. This is what makes the discovery of this basilica so important, he adds. It is reliable evidence for a Christian presence slightly northeast of Axum at a very early date. While the story of Frumentius may be apocrypha, other finds at the site underline how the spread of Christianity was intertwined with the machinations of commerce. Stamp seals and tokens used for economic transactions uncovered by the archaeologist point to the cosmopolitan nature of the settlement. The glass beads from the eastern Mediterranean and large amount of pottery from Aqaba in today's Jordan attest to long-distance trading. Wodekiros added that the discovery shows that long-distance trade routes played a significant role in the introduction of Christianity in Ethiopia. She and other scholars want to understand how these routes developed and their impact on regional societies. The Aksumite Kingdom was an important center of the trading network of the ancient world, says Alemseged Beldedos, an archaeologist at Addis Ababa University who was not part of the study. These finds give us good insight into its architecture, trade, civic and legal administration. Politics and religion are important factors in shaping human histories but are difficult to examine archaeologically, says Harwa. The discoveries at Beta Samanti provide a welcome glimpse into the rise of Africa's first Christian kingdom and he hopes will spark a new round of axon-related excavations. Do you think this discovery is a game-changer in the quest to death the spread of Christianity to Africa and the Axumite Empire in particular? Kindly drop your thoughts in comments, like, share and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video.
Thank you for watching. See you next time.